right hi everyone um it's diane and this is the angel hug for monday the 6th of april and i've got sort of in the back of my mind as a theme connection so last week was really interesting because we were talking about resistance and through talking about resistance it turned out to be one of the most exciting and kind of um i don't know positive sets of readings i've ever done and i also feel now though that we need to be mindful of where we feel we are really, really acting from a place of connection rather than just firing ahead with things. So it needs to be, um, everything needs to be in balance. So I just really feel like to, this week I'm going to talk about connection and in the sense of how we can make sure that everything we're doing is in alignment with the divine connection that we're hoping to make, the connection with the divine aspect of self individuated self the the higher self if you like and the connections that we make with each other um how we are really working towards love working for the higher love the the good of that love and um what it is that we feel motivated to do and whether the resistance that we sometimes have is actually a resistance to the old ways a resistance to things that we don't actually uh, believe serve that higher good so i'm just feeling like this week probably going to look at connection a bit and we may deviate from that we'll see where the cards take us so on monday the 6th of April, of may rather how can we embrace connection so unicorn card closeness so it actually says your unicorn is so very close to you and what i'm feeling with this is i I just felt a rush of my guides standing all around me. So what they want me to say is to everyone out there listening, your guides are so very close to you. There is no distinction between the space that you're occupying and the space that they're occupying. Only in consciousness are they in a different space. This is what they're saying and this is what they want us to acknowledge. So okay we are just a breath away they're saying we are just a thought and a whisper away so if there's something that you want to ask ah even if you want to meditate on your guides today remember that don't feel as if you are asking someone who is a million billion light years or you know whatever even centuries away um to come and visit just know that they are right here, right now, occupying this space. And I'm also feeling there are layers and levels, as there are to everything, to this card. So, although it actually says your unicorn is close, the close, and, your, and we know that your guides are also close, the card is talking about closeness. Closeness between us and every other aspect of consciousness, whether that is those in the non-physical realms or whether that is others sharing the physical realm with us. So today is going to be, on a practical level, a day to think about who we are close to and how we can get closer to the people that we're close to. In other words, not necessarily even physical, physically closer, but whereas we, we want to acknowledge that we are physically closer to our guides, how can we get dimensionally closer to the people we are already physically close to emotionally mentally spiritually and on the same frequency and this doesn't necessarily mean that we stand back and we judge them and we judge ourselves as being above them or in a more elevated frequency it means how can i find you brother or sister or lover or friend how can i find you how can we both be in a divine space together where i see that we are the same that we are one that there's no separation that there is no higher or lower because we're all infinitely moving towards love we're all ultimately well infinitely yes because it never ends moving towards love so therefore there's no beginning or end there's no uh, teacher and student there's no person in ahead or behind how can i get us both or how can i acknowledge us where we are both already in a divine space and it's really about allowing ourselves to feel connection by recognizing our closeness rather than by trying to create closeness so that's it for monday everyone have a lovely day enjoy the closeness in all its forms because that's what we're about okay
See you tomorrow. Bye.